This is in the center of a mine, a coal mine. It is late spring here at the Rosebud Coal Mine near Coal Strip, Montana. If you take a drive through a mine area, there are a few things that you might expect to see. Heavy machinery, drag lines, but something you might not expect, fields of beautiful pink flowers. I can't believe how gorgeous this is. It's called sandfoin, and it isn't just pretty to look at, it is a useful and versatile crop. Today we met with the people who planted it, local ranchers Hugh Broadus and his son Jared, to learn more about it and why it is here. It's Remont variety sandfoin. It's a, a no bloat legume. Cattle can graze it green or eat it in forage. Bloat is a huge thing in livestock because if they get, cattle get on green alfalfa and they eat enough of it, it'll kill them. So this, this sandfoin, it, it doesn't have that because it doesn't have the tannins in it that, that alfalfa has. It's a droughtier climate crop. It doesn't require a lot of moisture. So in southeastern Montana, it's a perfect fit. Our tonnages are a ton and a half to two tons of the acre. On non-irrigated cropland, is unheard of. Where we're standing is on reclaimed land. This particular part of it was a, a railroad lease that my grandparents had formed. My mom actually grew up right over in this tree. We had it leased before they mined it, and the deal was that if they took it out of your operation when they reclaimed it, you would get it back. Hugh and Jared are second and third generation ranchers that have lived in the Coal Strip area all their lives. During our interview, Hugh expressed his frustration with groups like the Sierra Club and the Northern Plains Resource Council for perpetuating a negative stereotype of coal mining and the impact it leaves on the land. We hear nothing but bad about the reclamation. I'd love for some of them to come down here. Right across the road, we have a hundred head of yearling heifers in there. Gas up to their bellies. Good water. You know, I'm having a hard time with these outfits condemning this thing here. Northern Plains and the Sahara Club, they don't have a damn clue. Got completely about the amount of people that made a good living here and raised their families and put them through school. And I am sick and tired of hearing about the no good rotten coal mines and the rotten reclamation. I got news for you, that isn't how it is. And I'll prove it. So next time you take a drive through coal country, look a little closer. You might be surprised by what you'll find.